So this is just going to be a little uh, workflow series on some of the games I'm developing and some of the different things I'm doing. Um, this is for uh, an app that my wife and I are building um, for people who uh, suffer with suffer from the uh, eating disorder called ARFID, which is um, basically it's a lot. It's I forget what it stands for. It's um, actually I'm going to look it up because. I should probably know. ARFID is uh, avoidant restrictive food intake disorder. So it's a lot of times it's uh, mistaken as as for picky eaters, um, and this is something that my wife suffers with, struggles with. So we uh, we came you know, she came up with this idea for an app, and we're starting to put this together. So this is Arfie. Um, he is going to be the mascot. So what we need to do is we're de I'm developing this in Unity, and Arfi's going to live down here. And the idea is that you can, um, uh, as you uh, so one of the therapies you can do for this is called food chaining, where you um, start with something that you like and you have a goal in mind for how you would like to or for something you would like to be able to eat. So the example I have loaded into this right now is you're okay with applesauce but you don't like apples, raw apples, because the texture. So what you can do as part of the therapy is to chain um, some foods together. So you start with applesauce, then you move on to flavored applesauce. So you take a little step. Then you move on to the chunky applesauce. So you go a little bit further. Then you move on to the uh, flavored chunky applesauce. Then you move on to like baked apples, like the pieces in an apple pie. And then you move on to larger pieces. Then you move on to a really thin slice of raw apple that you dip in some applesauce. And then finally you move on to eating a slice of raw apple. And the idea is that you're dealing with your anxiety and teaching your brain to um, not freak out when there's no need to freak out. Um, so this is kind of what this app does. And as you do that, uh, one of the things you'll be able to do is um, buy Arfi, the Arfid dog, some fun things for his house. So first of things we, ne we needed for him was um, we needed to uh, have Arfi, the Arfid dog. So we're going to actually, we've made, I've made him. And what we're going to do is we're going to crop this. Let's see, crop, where is it? I can't see anything because everything changed on here. There we go. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make it so he is panting, kind of like a, you know, kind of a happy thing. And, um, and that's going to be his default state. And then we'll have him do a few more poses. This is what we're going to start with. So we got to export him to start with. So we're going to come over here to Arfi Assets Art. We're gonna make a new folder here, and this is gonna be Arfi Animations. Nope, hang on, I'm doing this wrong. Excuse me. Um, how wide is this? So we, what I like to do in this is we're gonna canvas size. All right, so his width is 127. So let's see, we have 127. And this is going to be uh, how many frames of animation? It might be close to 20 frames of animation. So if we do 127 times, call it 15. We'll do 15, 1905. That's fine. Okay, so we're going to make the width of this 1905 resize. Resize, okay. And then what we have here is we're going to put all of these into Arfi. And then I should have done this from the beginning, but hey, such is the way of things. And so the two things he's going to do is his base animation. This will be his base animation is He's gonna, his tongue is gonna be going in and out because he's excited and he's happy that you're there. And we don't need this. I can delete this layer. Okay. Um, that's the first thing he's gonna do, and his tail is gonna be wagging because he is happy to see you. So 
Uh, and what I tend to do is I use GIMP for my um, artwork here. So actually, I'm going to keep this in pictures. And we're going to call let me create one here for this. This is going to be Arthid. And this is going to be Arthi. So that way I can come back and if I need to make changes, I can do that. But I like to do this in GIMP and I like to make um, layer groups because it makes it easier to copy and paste them. So we're going to duplicate this. Uh, duplicate. We're going to move this over 127. And then we're going to duplicate it again. We're going to do this a bunch of times. I do wish they had easier ways of doing this. Um, but in the end, it's kind of tough to complain when the program is free when the application is free it's tough to say hey your programs your free program that I don't pay for kind of sucks so I really can't bring myself to do that because it really does the job GIMP is a wonderful tool because um, I find that it does just about everything that Photoshop can do but it does it for free. There are some things that Photoshop is superior at. It has um, some just some basic functionality, like being able to multiple select multiple layers. That's just something that, for some reason, they've never been able to, the community has never been able to get into GIMP. I don't know why, but that's fine. Um, and there's definitely some effects. There's some things that are in a, um, Photoshop that make it, a really good product but um, like I said GIMP is free and given the prices that Adobe wants to charge for a lot of things um, I can't really complain because a lot of us don't have the budget to afford Adobe anymore so um, all right so we have Arfi the dog here. Here's his stat, his first one. So the first one, we're going to come here. I think we'll do the, the, uh, hmm, do we want to start with the tail? Yeah, let's start, let's start with the tongue. And then we can just move the whole tongue group. So it's going to come down two pixels. Arthi copy. Let's see. This is going to take a minute here. Two, three, four. It'll come down two. Two. And then it will go. Uh, where was I just at? This is this one now. I can see where this is going to be a problem. Um, two. That's going to stay by itself. And it's going to come. Whoop. Move over here. One, two. Hmm. <laughs> We know what we can do. Is all right, I'm gonna leave this alone, and then we're at six now. Okay, and then this is gonna come down to seven. It's gonna come down four. I'll bring it down three. Why not? It'll be different because that's what dogs do. We'll bring it down to one. That way it kind of changes the pace a little bit. He doesn't have to be regular. We're gonna leave, no, we're gonna leave him up one. And then we'll move tongue. Move him up one, two, three. And then he'll come Down 
okay and then we're gonna put this one here and then what we'll do is we'll test it all right so we're just gonna test this we're gonna come over here to where I keep everything we're gonna put this into our um, assets folder here and we're gonna say RFE we're gonna call this RFE idle sprite sheet okay so what we're gonna do is now that we have this we'll come over here we have I need to create RFE so we're gonna put RFE on the main screen here so we're gonna create an empty and this is going to be RFE let's move RFE down and RFE should be 200 by 200 I think right so this up here what you can see here this is where the food chain interface basically is going to live let me go a little bit higher it might be too high that's fine yeah we can do this this will be fine okay so then in here it's gonna be 200 by 300 um, we're gonna say we're gonna create UI we're gonna put photo print image in there how am I doing this I gotta think about this for a second I always forget because I don't spend enough time doing this um, hmm all right so I need to put RFE in here what I need to do let's do this for right now we're gonna put UI image and it needs to be 200 by 300 no I'm not I don't need the image um, what am I doing here let's do this I am really having a trouble remem reminding myself how to do this all right so we're here so I need a uh, sprite mode is gonna be multiple we are going to have point no filter that's gonna make it better and let me do sprite editor Yes, we're going to apply the changes. Okay. So, let me move this up. And it should be 127. And we're just going to set this to 127. Boom. So, what I'm doing now is I am cutting up the sprite sheet that I made so this makes it really easy for me to update something so if something is wrong with part of the animation um, I can just go into the GIMP file itself make a change to that individual thing and be, it'll just update it in the animation I don't have to redo everything it's gonna because what I'm doing is I'm telling unity to look at each one of these boxes as its own picture and um, I think that I'm not sure mechanically what it does behind the scenes. Actually, we'll just move that over here. I'm not sure if by doing things as a sprite sheet this way makes uh, is is it, it saves processing speed, time, power. I'm not sure if it. I'm not sure what it does. But this is what I'm. Always, I always see this in for 2D. This is how the animations work. Um, 3D is obviously something uh, different. There's a different mechanic there um, because you're looking at things in a different perspective. And I just don't have the art skills. So what we're doing here is like a faux 3D. Not faux. It's not even close to being that. But, you know, there is some depth. All right this one okay we have this oh wait I gotta move it over because I ran out of space all right so now we have this so I'm gonna apply this it's now gonna look at that and now I need to over here at art assets we're gonna make a new folder for create folder animations and then we're gonna do uh, what do I want for my window I do want to be able to see animation I want to see 
animator. We're going to move that down here. And we are going to do window animation. And that's going to look down here. So animator, we need to create a new animation. And now why am I just completely brain farting on this? Um, RP, oh, this is what we're going to do. We're going to come over to project, art, boom. RP lives in here. Okay. And now we're going to move RP down here. And we are going to Transform scale. I need to transform him up. Let's make him not more than that. Let's make him 200 by 200. Let's move him up. Boom. There we go. We have RV. Who the heck is texting me right now? Uh, okay, I got to take care of that. Take care of that. That's fine. Uh, I'll deal with that later. All right, um, right. So now what I need to do is create an animation here. So create, how do I do this? Why do I always forget video, video player UI? I always forget how to do this. Why can't I remember how to do this? Oh. Add component. Animator. Avatar. Project. Nope, that's, this is not working. Shoot. Animator. Animation. I am really drawing a blank right now, and I'm forgetting. So we're going to remove this. We're going to remove this. We're going to delete this. I don't want this here. Arfi. We're going to add a component here. Animation. Animator. Now, how do I do this? Shoot. Wow. Man, I don't know why every time I go to do this. I do not know why every time I go to do this. This becomes such a problem. Every time, every time, every time. How do I do this? Animator, I need to bring this in here. see this this is for that that's for what ah here we go create an animation clip here we go I don't know why we're gonna call this RV idle there we go okay here we go all right we are going to bring in now I need to drag in this. Ah, here we go. Okay. So it's going to be one. I think we'll do every five frames. Two, three, four, five. Let me just see how this looks. We can always tighten it up. Just left off with that. We just left off with that. Got this. Got this. That. That. Max 
so that gets us over a second's worth of animation. Why can we not see it though? How come we cannot see Arfi? I want to be able to see Arfi. Let me see Arfi. Um, <laughs> Should I remove this component? Maybe that does something. I don't know. So we have the animator. We have the sprite renderer. Why can't? Why isn't it showing it to me here though? RV. Um, layer. Bring to the UI layer maybe. All right. Well, let's see if I just play and see if he shows up. Uh, he doesn't even show up. So this is going to be 200 by 200. We're going to move him down here. He's right there. OK, now let's see what happens. Nope, nothing's happening. Arfi idle 01. Let's get rid of this animator. We're going to remove this component here. Here we go. Let's try this now. Let's say Arfi idle zero one. Okay, now we're gonna try this. Let's see if this this is that. Ah, the joys of trying to remember all of this stuff. All right, so we're here. Okay. Like that. This. This. So. Boom. Boom. All right, we're just going to see. I don't know why it's jumping up and down. Okay. He jumps up there. Why? All right, so what we're going to do is we're gonna just going to fix it right here. We're going to fix it in here. So he is... We're going to see if that fixes it. Replace it. Yep. Export. And so it's going to update everything over on this end. And if I hit play here, there we go. Okay, so we have his. I think I like that with the tongue. That works out well. So now we can do the tail. And then we'll be able to wrap things up on this particular part of it. So now we've got the tail. Now, what I do with the tail is I move the rotation point down here, but I don't know why it didn't. Do that, and then we're going to move it here. And then this is uh, all RFI copy. We just did this one. We're going to go to our copy one, come to his tail. I, so I moved it on the first one. I don't know why it didn't bother to. Hmm. I see a problem here, though. Let's see this. I can't. No. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually mark it on here because, no, jeez. 
Why don't we move that? Why didn't it do that? bit more because eventually it'll go out of the frame and I don't want to deal with that uh, okay all right so this is that was copy one right copy two all right I want to make sure I mark this again to the edge okay we're at number three mark the edge let's see tail tail nope ah come on I will never claim to be a professional animator we'll bring it back there I will never make that claim. So we're at four now. So four, we're all right. We're not because we're not coming back yet. All right. So uh, tail. Bring it down here. Boom. We're at five. Let's go tail. Six. Why is it tail should be behind? What the heck is going on here? Wait a minute. This is four. It's five. I want to get a six now. Tail. Oh, uh, what? Oh, jeez. I hate this. Okay, this is one of the things that GIMP sucks with, is that when you go to rotate something, you basically have to confirm it. And if you don't confirm it, it just ignores the fact that you rotated anything, and it's really annoying. All right, so going all the way back to begin, so we have RV1. Okay, we're going to mark this. All right, now I'm going to go to tail of RV2, and it always resets that center point, and I don't understand why. Boom. Rotate. Okay. We're done with this one. Tail. Oh, let's come up here. Mark it. We're going to take it all the way to the edge. All right, tail. Boom. Oh, you son of Oh, wait. I did. Okay. All right, I was getting mad for a second there. Boy. All right, so we got this. Tail. Boom, rotate a little bit. Okay, oh. Okay, so now that I'm going back the other direction, I don't have to worry about hitting the edge. All right, so I'm gonna bring it up this way. Boom. Right, number three. Boom. Okay, that's been rotated. That is the one, one of the few things that really annoy me about GIMP is that because you know, it's caught me before, and that with that rotate, everything else is just yeah, you did it, cool. Yeah, 
except here is the, like the only thing you have to like confirm and I don't know what the thought process is on that all right now we're getting close to the edge again so let's make sure that I'm not gonna cross it because now that I've divided it up I don't have to go in and redo it and then I'm going to say tail we're just going to start wagging him the other way we'll leave it at that I like that we'll leave him right there at that neutral position tail okay boom boy he's a very good boy and he's very proud of the work that you're doing as you can probably hear from my voice I definitely need to hydrate today all right where are we at now that's this one okay and we're just gonna leave him at that yeah you know what we're gonna do we are gonna do this he's gonna come up here to there and then finally we'll have him kind of in that halfway position again boom boom okay so we're gonna export this again and replace it yeah I mean that's the nice thing is I can make little adjustments now if I need to to this one and I don't have to constantly go back in and redo the um, animation so now Yeah, see, he's a happy boy. And I think what we might do is, um, as time goes on, is I can add in different animations. I'm not gonna, I'm trying to force myself to getting a, um, get it to a minimum capacity, you know, a, a minimally viable product. So, um, I don't need to do all of the animations right now. I am going to need to add a few in, like when we get to a new level, he should celebrate with you. So maybe like the tail speeds up and maybe the paws come up and he gets a little bit higher. You know, we'll figure that out. The ears go. Um, you know, we can, there's all sorts of fun things we can do. So now that we have Arfi, um, what I'll be working on later um, is... Um, there's a couple things that need to happen with this. I need to integrate Arfi's store, Arfi's house and Arfi's store. I think those are the next two things um, for basic functionality. That when you go to Arfi's house, you can buy things for it um, just so that you have, you know, fun things for Arfi. And uh, yeah. And I need to get the store going because as you go, you earn bones. Bones can be used to buy things. And as you level up, you will unlock more things in the store. So, um, yeah, so we're going to I have to do that. And then the, the I need to add in, I need to figure out exactly how what the leveling up is going to be for the levels. And the streak system, I have a few ideas of how to implement that. Um, because this, as of right now, this is not going to be connected to a database. I could connect it to Firebase, um, and that would give some additional functionality, but I don't know that I want to do that just yet. Um, but we'll see. That's a whole other thing. But the big thing that I'm going to need to tackle is how to let people make their own food chains. Um, that's going to be the challenge. Um, and figuring out how to m let it do all of that. And that's where I might actually have to hook Firebase up to it. So that way you could create all these new food chains that have the things that you want and it populates the correct way and instantiates. And I think that's going to be a much more complicated process. But that's going to be basically the core functionality of this, of this app. So, but I wanted to get something minimally viable. So that way, um, we can show it to. We want to show it to my wife's therapist, 
because she was liking the idea as well, and then we'll see what happens with it. So this is for the the ARFID food chaining app. We don't have a, I'm sure we'll come up with a better name. We might just call it ARFID. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna figure that out. So uh, future videos will show this progression. So um, keep an eye out for that. Thanks for coming along.